Hi, I'm a Carefree TV, you probably know because my new glass mix. And I just came to say, which is worse, Spider Man 3 or The Amazing Spider Man 2? Now, I prob I'm I'm probably, you're probably wondering, oh, what are you talking about? Spider Man 3 is definitely the worst. But, but The Amazing Spider Man 2 is actually as well. Like, check it out. This is the costume from The Amazing Spider Man 2. And this is the costume from The Amazing Spider-Man 1. And nobody knows what happened to the costume. And, and there's too many villains. Look, there's too many villains. Electro, Green Goblin and the Rhino. And that's completely pointless because the Rhino is only in for two minutes. No one Osborn is supposed to be the Green Goblin, not Harry Osborn. And plus... Well, too many villains, like in Spider-Man 3 after all. Um, let's see now. Uh, yeah, Spider-Man 3 was actually quite a good movie. Um, now, uh, you'll probably hate me for saying this, but this is better than The, than the Amazing Spider-Man 2, only because the music and it, I don't care about Peter's dancing, it was funny as heck. Um, but... Um, but, um, any, and I love the black outfit, although I did have some issues, like, Venom was really scrawny, and, uh, he, like, he should have been really big, because the green from the terrible actor, the, the, green, the new goblin didn't look right, he should have just worn his father's outfit, etc, etc, Captain, uh, Captain Gunn, in a terrible Mary Jane, she keeps getting kidnapped, and we're on to the Amazing Spider-Man 2. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 had sloppy romance and less action and adventure. Electro, I couldn't want look more like Voldemort with a nose, and um, I and I swear, like I swear to God, the Amazing. Green Goblin looked terrible. I mean, other people might think he was cool, but I don't think he was because, like the ama because the because he looked almost like his outfit looked almost like the new Goblin um, from Spider Man Three. It should have been Norman Osborn, not Harry, and the costume didn't look. Right, like it said, this is the costume from the first movie. This is the costume. Oh, so. Anyway, um, um, yes, and but I loved the music. I loved the action. I loved the fight with the new goblin. Except it could have gone better. Um, like a better outfit, maybe. Any, and um. Like the first two Spider-Man movies, I'd have to give credit. Um, like they're not as good. I loved. Okay, I I grew up with Tobey Maguire, right? I admit it. I I grew up with Tobey Maguire, right? Um, <laughs> and um, he like I felt like he was a better Spider-Man because Andrew was a bit too geeky, cool looking, and. If I had to go back in time, I'd sort it out so you guys would like it better. I mean, no, okay. like maybe a young, maybe a better Mary Jane, a younger Peter Parker, a brawny, a less, a better Reggie Brock actor, um, a, a less brawny and more buff Venom, and I can't, and, uh, and get, Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, I have to admit, Sandman was cool, but it could have gone better. Like maybe, like since people have been complaining that it should have been a few years back, and and Bernard the Butler, Harry Osborn's Butler, wait waited so many years to tell him that. Norman killed himself, and that, um, and and he should have the new goblin should have been in Spider-Man too, all right? 
right the villain should have been scorpion and and uh, look this is part one alright i'll see you for the next part